Legendary caviar and bull. We are here with the one and only Marvin Gauci. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank you for coming and spending your time. Always a pleasure when you have when I have you around here. You bring a, a sort of joy to the to the place. Okay, happy to hear. I wanted to thank you for that. What you created here is like three wonderful places. I would be lying if I would say that I have a easy life because I have a very very hard hard working um, life. The industry that we are in, it's a little bit difficult to find the balance, you know? That's where my wife comes in and my children come in. They're there to support me. Because of them, I am able to do what I do. My son, Luke, he's now helping me in the business. Yes. So this kind of feeling is what I do it for. For every episode, I try to choose the people that actually love what they do. So I think this comes across with that balance that sometimes you look for it, but kind of because you do what you love, it makes it easier. You must remember as well, like, because it did not start day one, three places, no? What oh, was the I first started, one? I, I mean, I think this conversation needs to be in another interview because it's going to take another 15 minutes to yes. even start it. But uh, in short, the, the best memory. The best memory, I mean, is uh, when I was a kid and uh, I'm in my kitchen of my mother and she's preparing food and she's looking at me from everybody to see my reaction to her food since we were very young. Because I used to all the time compliment her food and, mm -hmm. how, and, and I was always inv in, involved in, in the kitchen with her. I come from a from a foodie uh, family. My grandfather is an icon for, for, uh, for Maltese bread. He had a, a bakery in, in, uh, in Ormi that was very, very successful. So that's like where, where, where it kind of it started. If someone would ask you, who is Marvin? What is the answer today? Husband, a father of four children. Um, uh, I think that Marvin is a good, very good person. I mean, I, I try not to hurt uh, people that are around me. Obviously, sometimes, you know, it's impossible to keep everybody happy, yes. you know? So you're going to find people that are not happy with what you said or what you did or, you know, so, mm -hmm. so on and so forth. But, you know, I think I'm an, an, an ambassador for right. I want to do the right thing. I was obviously also representing Malta as a, as a culinary ambassador um, for my country as well, which is, I am very, very proud of. And um, this is like a title for life as well, right? Yes, it's a kind of life, lifetime achievement that I was granted by the ministry and also the, the, the authority. I got that because there was a time I wanted to bring uh, Michelin to Malta, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, that was successful and goes until today. Yes, yes. So, so this is what I wanted to do, and I and I reached out to obviously um, Michelin, and I said, listen, I want to introduce you to my country, so on and so forth. I had obviously some help from friends of mine that introduced me, and they kind of got, got me an interview, like I'm talking to you, uh, and they were super satisfied. I, I really believe uh, so much about uh, to keep the standards up. Obviously, we all know that our um, industry has grew up a lot. Uh, the last four or five years, we, we see that it exploded, you know? The level went from here to there, you yes. know? Which is something that I'm very proud of. I think you have something that, yes, you will never forget. Yes. But then, if you can walk us through, like, how it happened then, that you end up having your book with the cocktails. Yes, so basically, um, uh, during, uh, during COVID, um, I did a lot of things, you know, trying to keep, obviously, uh, my staff, my staff happy, they still make a little bit of money. I kept the restaurants open, serving takeaway and stuff like this. I mean, this is not my business model mm -hmm. at all. So I had to adapt like completely what I have to do just to survive. No, but you show that you're very talented and like open-minded, you keep yes, on experimenting. so I wrote a book. Uh, I had a little bit of time, so, you know, I said, I wanted to create a book, so I got um, uh, my mixologists from every restaurant who helped me out to create two or three um, best uh, cocktails um, that we can create for the place. And I was 
inspiring them, telling them what I wanted, how I wanted, and what ingredients I wanted to use, and we created this book, you know, together. Yes. So uh, there's a part of the book that is created from my restaurants, and another uh, part of the book that either staff that used to work for me and now they're working in other restaurants that stayed with a good bridge you know with me they left because obviously they wanted to uh, improve something for themselves and i'm very proud for people like this you know? but then obviously because you like having the background being a chef it means the cocktails would be more focused on the taste yes but i also but i also when i when i had my own restaurants at the, at the beginning i also created cocktails for for uh, for the restaurant i just use molecular cuisine to make my food look more beautiful i would i never went molecular mm. i just had molecular cuisine around my food you know yeah. so that's what i created and people loved it. i also had liquid nitrogen so i started doing the the show I'm talking 15 years ago, not now. Oof. You know what I mean? So, so the innovation for Malta, for sure. Yeah, I was. Uh, this is what I w liked to do, not because I wanted to be innovative, mm -hmm. because this is what I wanted for me. It feels that people can really see this, they appreciate, and like every evening, pretty much is full here. So this is the translation of it. Yes, but uh, people, even the people that come now. Although we, we make mistakes like everybody else, it's very hard at the moment to like to manage everything 100%. Every man's dream is to have own wine. Yes, man. You want to have a glass? For sure, yes. Actually, I'll bring another one as well of 22 and we have a taste of that as well. Okay. So you will see the difference. I named it for my father and I gave him the name Don yeah. Gauci. My father used to make wine, my grandfather used to make uh, wine, no. you know. I'm going to be honest with you, I never liked his wine. <laughs> you know? How possible? And I, no, no, it's But okay. Did you ever tell him that or no? Of course I tell him that. Of course. And then what? Well, He I, wasn't upset? Look, look, no, my father does not get upset for these things. It's honesty, you know what nice. I mean? Yeah, I've been in the industry for over 25 years and I was, I was always one of those that wanted something to go, to move forward and forward. Would you mind if I ask you that uh, now we move to the kitchen and we see how we cook? Can we see that magic? You want to see me cook? I do want to see you cook. You know what I will cook for you? I'll cook for you one of my favorite combinations. Okay. The combination of the bull and the caviar together. Oh, it's like, wow, you know? Sounds delicious already. Yeah, but when you put it in your mouth, you will understand <laughs> the difference, you know? Perfect. Let's do this.